Today, I'm going to explain a Russian horror supernatural film called Row 19. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts inside an airplane, which is heading to Novosibirsk, Russia. I know I butchered that. Among the few passengers on board are seven-year-old Katya and her mom. It is the little girl's first time, but she seems quite calm about the whole experience. However, after she falls asleep, disaster strikes. One of the plane's engines starts malfunctioning, because of which violent turbulence ensues. When Katya wakes up, she doesn't find her mom around and starts panicking. But what she does spot is a strange old lady who is chanting some gibberish behind her. The next second, the pilots lose total control of the plane, and eventually, it crashes. Everyone on board passes away, except for little Katya, who has miraculously survived. Following this, the scene cuts to 20 years after the incident. Katya has long recovered from the trauma and has a daughter named Diana. As far as work is concerned, she is one of the most successful psychiatrists in town. One day, some reporters corner Katya in a park and start asking her unnecessary questions about that unfateful day. They want to know how she managed to survive the unthinkable. However, Katya simply brushes them off and leaves, claiming that she has an important meeting to attend. The next night, the mother-daughter duo boards a plane to Moscow to catch up with their relatives. It is revealed that after the incident, Katya is no longer afraid of flights, so she boards this one despite the weather being terribly bad. There are only a few passengers on board for that reason. Meanwhile, Katya gets acquainted with a handsome young man named Alexei. He helps her with the luggage and then gets seated right across from them. As the plane prepares to take off, Katya starts opening up with the stranger, but just then, she hears a commotion in the back. Turns out that an old woman is having second thoughts about traveling in this weather, so she is requesting the flight attendant to let her go. However, her husband is adamant to stop her. Katya, being a psychologist, immediately springs into action and calms the old woman down. She then gives her some stress relief pills before heading back to her seat. I'm a professional. Take these drugs. Elsewhere in the front rows, we are introduced to the two remaining passengers. One of them is a rich businessman named Nikolai, while the other one is a sketch artist named Pavel, who looks more like a junkie. Nikolai arrogantly tries to initiate a conversation, but the artist doesn't pay much attention to him. Meanwhile, Katya starts hearing some strange noises, so she rushes to the bathroom and takes some pills. Turns out that she is suffering from OCD, which makes her overthink things. After a while, she proceeds to head back to her seat, but when she opens the door, something shocking happens. Katya strangely finds herself in her childhood home, where she used to live with her mother before the crash took place. Katya mixed up the OCD and LSD pills again. She wanders around in bewilderment until she finds a door which leads her back to the plane. Later, Alexei notices that she is feeling very uncomfortable and asks if she is alright. Katya doesn't say a word, so little Diana reveals everything about how her mom was the sole survivor of a deadly plane crash 20 years ago. At present, she acts as if she is not scared of flights, but deep down, she is still troubled. Hearing this, Alexei is taken aback. In the next scene, the plane finally takes off and Katya somewhat calms down. She then starts a conversation with Alexei, where the latter reveals that he is a war correspondent. He has traveled to literally all of the combat zones in the world. In return, Katya also talks about her work as a psychiatrist. A few hours later, everyone falls asleep, and Katya has a dream where she sees her younger self. She and her mom are having a normal conversation about their day. Just then, Katya notices that her mother's face is wounded and burnt. She inquires if they died in the plane crash, but the mom reassures her that it, it's just a nightmare and that they are fine. Following this, the mom suddenly becomes possessed, prompting Katya to wake up in the plane. Unfortunately, the situation isn't any better here. The plane is going through a rough turbulence period, because of which the old man in the back row suffers a cardiac arrest. Katya and the flight attendants rush to help and immediately start performing CPR. After a few seconds, the man suddenly wakes up with a possessed look, grabs Katya, whispers something in her ear, and then passes out again. The turbulence also keeps getting worse, and when Katya glances around, Around, she notices a strange black hand lurking behind a seat. Suddenly, the old man breathes his last and passes away, leaving his wife devastated. The passengers don't even get time to console her as the deadly turbulence forces them back to their seats. Katya slowly 
loses consciousness because of the lack of oxygen in her body. When she wakes up, though, the turbulence is gone, and everything is reverted back to normalcy. That old dude's still dead, though. Katya immediately approaches Alexei and tells him that the old man whispered the same words into her ears that a strange old lady had 20 years ago on the doomed flight to Novosibirsk. It is almost as if the woman has cursed her to die, and that's why all of this is happening. However, Alexei doesn't believe any of that. He simply tells her that she's hallucinating because of the pills she took earlier. After a while, the flight attendants take the deceased old man to the front of the plane and cover him up. However, this makes Katya even more suspicious, as despite everything that has happened, the captain still hasn't made any announcements. To make matters more weird, the deep scars in her leg that she sustained 20 years ago have also vanished. Okay, that, yeah, that actually is weird. Meanwhile, little Diana draws a picture of the plane, where she and her mom are sitting in the back seat. She then requests to change the seats, but Katya refuses. All this while, the latter keeps saying the same weird black figures around the plane. As the weather keeps deteriorating, the flight attendant makes an announcement. She reveals that the plane will make an emergency landing in Novosibirsk, the same city where Katya was headed 20 years ago. Meanwhile, a strange liquid starts dripping onto the rich businessman Nikolai's shoes, irritating him. He tries to calm himself down by smoking, but as soon as he lights a fire, the strange liquid ignites, completely covering him in flames. Katya and the rest of the passengers immediately come to his aid. However, by the time they extinguish the fire, Nikolai has suffered extreme third-degree burns. Smoking is bad for your health. While the flight attendants rush to bring him first aid, Katya heads towards her daughter. But just like before, she only notices the same creepy figures lurking behind the seats. Then, suddenly, Katya has another vision, where she is taken to 24 hours earlier. She and her daughter are discussing if they should board the flight to Moscow. Little Diana says she doesn't want to, but Katya somehow convinces her. At this point, the scar is clearly visible on her leg. That night, as Katya is wandering around the house, she suddenly hears her daughter's screams. Terrified, she rushes to her bedroom, but finds it locked. Katya tries her best to open the door, and this is when she snaps out of her vision. Soon, a worried Diana comes running to her, and reveals that Katya Katya walked right past her. This surprises the latter, and she apologizes to the little girl for her carelessness. Their emotional moment is cut short, however, when Alexei arrives and asks for Katya's help in saving Nikolai. Shortly after, they start treating the poor man. His airways are blocked, so Katya carefully places his head in an upright position, giving him a tiny bit of respite. Then, as she is clearing her hand, she reveals to Alexei that her hallucinations have become so severe that she has started to confuse imagination with reality. Meanwhile, Pavel keeps on sketching something while mumbling some unintelligible words. Seeing him so carefree and nonchalant in such a situation, Katya loses it and starts berating him. However, she soon stops when Alexei makes her realize that her daughter is watching. All of a sudden, the burnt man tries to reach for his phone while uttering some words. So, Pavel quickly takes his phone out and displays his family picture. Seeing this, Nikolai breathes a sigh of relief before succumbing to his injuries. Now that two people on board the plane have died, Katya approaches Pavel and apologizes to him for her earlier actions. In response, the artist says that he sometimes gets lost while drawing. As the two continue conversing, Katya suddenly realizes that the old woman has been in the washroom for an unusually long time. She rushes to inspect, but the flight attendants tell her to go back to her seat. However, Katya isn't going to be pushed around anymore, and when she starts arguing, the attendants reluctantly open the door, only to learn that the washroom is empty. That lady flushed herself down the toilet. Stunned, Katya prepares to go back to the seat, but right then, the old man, who is supposed to be dead, suddenly pushes her. Then a bunch of dark hands hold her down, seemingly to kill her. But Katya soon snaps out of her visions and heads straight to her daughter. Realizing that something bad is about to happen, she tells Diana that they should leave the plane immediately, despite them being mid-flight. Alexei tries to stop them, but suddenly he starts bleeding from his eyes and passes out. Following this, the two flight attendants also try to persuade Katya from leaving. They explain that it is only a matter of minutes before they land in Novosibirsk, and that waiting is the safest option. Just then, one of the flight attendants starts vomiting water, resulting in her horrible death. A terrified Katya then approaches Pavel and snatches his sketchbook. When she goes through it, she realizes that he has been drawing her visions about the dark figures all 
all along. When she notices an exit door in one of his sketches, Pavel burns and dissipates into thin air. Katya then heads towards the exit door with Diana, but at the same time, the remaining flight attendant and Alexei try to stop her. They mention that something very bad awaits her on the other side of the door. Right then, an invisible force pulls the flight attendant and smashes her against the floor, while Alexei starts bleeding from his head and passes away. Seeing this, Katya strikes the door with all her might and eventually opens it. However, what she sees on the other side shocks her to the core. It is another plane cabin that looks exactly like the one she came from. Despite this, Katya doesn't lose hope and continues going through the exit doors until she comes across a completely new cabin. However, at this point, Diana isn't with her. But at the end of the hall, there is also a strange dark figure with her. Alarmed, Katya rushes to save her daughter, but everything goes into slow motion. This is when everything finally starts to unravel. In a shocking turn of events, it is revealed that the entire scenario inside the plane isn't real. Katya is still on the doomed plane, which is soon going to crash and end up in flames. The old woman, whom Katya had always thought of as a bad person, is actually chanting a prayer to put Katya to sleep. She doesn't want the little girl to witness the horrors that are about to befall her. Because of this, time moves slowly for Katya, and she starts imagining a future where she is still alive. She has everything, a good job, a loving daughter, and most importantly, no dickhead husband. I mean, a safe environment to live in. However, as the plane rapidly plunges to the ground, Katya tries to wake up as she doesn't want to die. So, the old woman releases Katya from her spell, and now, her fate lies in her own hands. Following this, Katya returns to her daughter to bid one final goodbye. After they hug, Diana tells her mom to carefully remember her surroundings, implying that there may still be a way to escape. Just then, Katya recalls the picture which her daughter had drawn earlier. It showed that they were in the last row, i.e. row 19. In the next scene, we are taken back to the doomed plane from 20 years ago. Surprisingly, the same people that Katya has been interacting with in the future are seen on this plane. All of a sudden, the old man suffers from a cardiac arrest, so Katya's mom rushes to check up on him. A few minutes later, as the plane is on its way to crash, little Katya wakes up and heads straight towards row 19. On her way, she catches up with her mom and also Alexei. The latter helps them get seated in row 19, but before he can join them, an explosion takes his life. Good thing seatbelts protect against explosions. Soon, the plane crashes into a lake, disintegrating it into several pieces. It appears as if no survivors are left behind, but miraculously, both Katya and her mom are alive. Because of the little girl's quick thinking, they are left unharmed, as row 19 is the only part of the plane that did not get destroyed. The movie ends as they cry tears of joy, grateful that they have been given a second chance at life. Katya's daughter doesn't exist anymore though. That's kind of depressing. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.